Howdy everybody, Steve here, KM9G. My friends over at All Power sent me this fantastic setup with a solar generator and a solar panel. Where else can you get a generator that includes fuel and storage? Let's take a look. This thing is really packaged well. The solar panel is not gonna get damaged in shipping. This is a 100 watt solar panel. All the information you need to know about this panel is on the sticker on the backside. Take a look. This is pretty slick. I like this out of the box experience. It's like, welcome, enjoy, please, please do business with us. We like you. Fantastic. A little case there for all your goodies. We'll take a look inside that in a minute. There she is. Nice. And the whole thing comes out. Take a look at that shadow behind the panel. You can tell we're getting some decent afternoon sun on this thing. Not great afternoon sun, but decent afternoon sun. I'm gonna get this thing charged up. I decided to pack up a bag lunch and stick it in my Iceco portable cooler. There is a video right up top here about the cooler itself. So we made it to the park and I have the ice chest plugged into the All Powers battery. So it's interesting, you have to have, I had to have this on in order for it to start putting power out to the ice chest, but it doesn't register any output on the cigarette lighter plug. But, as you can see, the ice co is a running. We'll see how long it lasts. All right, we had an hour at the park and then a two hour drive back home because we took a lazy, enjoyable path and 76%, not bad at all. We are at another two and a half hours and it's not cranking down that low. Cooler's still running. This thing's doing fantastic. I am done with this part of the experiment for today. Depending on how good you are at strategically parking, you can put this on the back of your car and hang it off of your roof rack. Using the included Velcro straps that came with it. You get six of them, might as well use them. Or if you knew you were gonna be parked for a while, you could give it multiple points of attachment. A setup like this might even survive a little bit of a trip through the campsite. And if you did use multiple points, like on the roof rack I just showed you, you wouldn't have to worry about it flapping in the breeze so much either. If you have one of these devices, you are definitely going to need one of these things that converts the cigarette lighter plug into a power pole. I'll leave a link for this thing here in the description down below. Let's get the radio connected. This is the G90 go bag that I made up in a video before. It will be linked up at the top up here, but inside it has just about everything I can think of that I need for getting my G90 on the air. I'm going to need my power pole to G90 weird power connector converter. So that's the top pouch with all the accessories, but in the lower pouch below that, wrong zipper, is where the radio itself hides. Look at that. That's hard to do one-handed. So there's the radio and the microphone. So there's a bit of an order of operations to turning this thing on in order to get the cigarette lighter plug to work. And it doesn't seem intuitive at first, but it does work. Turn it on and let all this display get settled out. 70% battery life remaining. It's saying two days remaining. Once you get to that screen, then you can push this button and you'll hear a little relay click inside. Once you hear that relay click, you can then turn on the radio. Once the radio is on, it's telling us that we're doing an eight watt draw. And now from two days, we're down to 15 hours of use, but that's not on transmit. Hello CQ, CQ, CQ 20. Hello CQ 20 meters. Hello, CQ, 20 meters from America, Delta 5, Mexico, Delta, Alpha, Delta 5, Mike Delta, calling CQ, hello, CQ, 20, hello, CQ, 20 meters, hello, CQ, 20, hello, CQ, DX, hello, CQ, 20. Kilo, Mike, 9, Golf. Kilo, Mike. Kilo, Mike, 9, Golf. Hello, Mike, 9, Golf, from Alpha, Delta 5, Mike Delta, returning. Good morning, good afternoon to you there. Uh, thank you very much for coming back to the call. I'll give you the report in the next over. My name is Rennie, Echo Radio, Nancy, Italy, Echo. And uh, transmitting here in Brownsville in South Texas. How do you copy Kilo Mike Line Golf from 85 MD? All right, I'm copying you a solid 5.7 here. I'm in Central Texas myself. I'm on a 20 watt radio with a vertical antenna. Roger Kinsall, I see you in Livingston, Texas. Very good. The 20 watts and vertical doing a good job. They're about five and five, five and six here, over. 
All right, copy the 5556. Five, I appreciate the contact. Thank you very much, 73. He was out there. I just had to go ahead and try it. I haven't even tuned up the antenna or anything. If you looked at the SWR, it was about two to one. It's a 20 watt radio and I'm running a vertical antenna on this thing. And if you look at the screen on the battery, it was happy. I like it. All right, I am going to find a clear frequency here where there isn't anybody around. All right, that looks good. And then we'll take a look at the battery power as I'm going to run a full tuning cycle. All right, it's happy. 49 watts output and then back to 9 watts on standby. Who's a good girl? Now we are going to overpower this thing a little bit. We're at 69% zero watt output, zero watt input. It says two days remaining. I'm going to go ahead and turn off the DC power. And I'm going to turn on the AC power because I've got something plugged in here. AC power right off the bat is going to start consuming electricity. You can see the fan icon is on and the AC plug is on. And it's saying 60 hertz. This is a pure sine wave inverter in here. And a lot of our devices don't really need pure sine wave. But what I'm going to try right now is this heater. This is a 1500 watt heater. And I'm going to try it on just the fan setting. We'll watch the power output. And it's still not really registering any power out. Then we'll try it on the heater setting. This is the lowest heater setting. There we go. 495, 549. It's screaming. 650, 683. This thing should shut off any minute now. And she's off. Then we'll try turning it back on. Perfect. So that battery worked exactly as I would have expected it to work. I tried to ask for more than its rated capacity of 600 watts, and it gave me a little bit, and then it shut off gracefully without doing any damage to itself and came right back on afterwards. I like it. If you want to see some crazy guy plug things into batteries that weren't meant to be plugged into batteries and make them work, this is the channel for you. Be sure to hit that subscribe button down below. For a quick walk around the outside, we have an AC plug to charge this off of shore power. We have a circuit breaker, which I did not get to trip when I ran the heater on it. We have an XT60 connector. It comes with an XT60 to MC4 connector adapter in the box. On top, we have a wireless charging for wirelessly charging your phones and a fantastic little carry handle. I love the fact that it is a flat cube. The display automatically turns itself off. The battery is currently on, but the display turns itself off to save some power. You just push the button and it comes back up and we're still saying two days remaining at 67%. We've got cigarette lighter plug, two AC plugs at 600 watts total. And you can turn those on and off independently. And then we also have DC power, which is 100 watts of USB-C or... I can't read that. Get my splaining glasses on. 18 watts of USB-A output power. So you'll be able to charge your modern cell phones, your older cell phones, your two meter HTs, or any other device that plugs into USB-C. I can run my laptop off of that. I would prefer to stay away from the AC range here because that's going to consume power just to switch over to AC. A little smudge. This side, there's not a whole lot going on. It's just some air intake. And then on the bottom, we have our sticker that tells you all of the outputs and all of the inputs. One of the things I really like about this is that it comes with a little carry bag for your accessories that you need. This has your MC4 cables and your AC power cable inside. And just in case you didn't believe me, that is what they look like. So these are your MC4 connectors. Be sure you always check which polarity these are because obviously you can tell by looking at them that they can plug into each other. And you don't want to do that. You want to make sure you've got positive to positive and negative to negative. The solar panel that this comes with does have the positive indicated and the negative indicated. And then this only goes into your regular wall sockets one way. And now I've got it plugged in and charging off of the AC inverter. And it's already got 60 hertz coming in which means it probably has 60 hertz coming out. It says a recharge and 320 watts of input. Nice. I'm gonna to continue to play with this battery a little bit more and I will do an update as time goes by. One of the things I wanna do is a parks on the air activation using the G90 and the cigarette lighter plug that I showed you in the video and see how many contacts I can get before I give up. I have a feeling I'm gonna give up before the battery does. This is a 12 amp hour battery and 12 amp hours with an eight amp draw on transmit only is gonna last me quite a long time, even longer if I plug in that solar panel. So make sure you're subscribed to the channel so you can see when that video drops. Check out the description below for more information about the all powers generator and solar panel. There is a video right over here I think you will enjoy next. Thanks for being awesome. I'll see you over there.